Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I got the Jeep back in the garage and we're gonna continue that 303 misfire code, cylinder number three. And in today's video, we're gonna focus on checking the resistance of each fuel injector. Now these are aftermarket injectors, so I don't have the exact value of them. So what I'm gonna do on my whiteboard behind me, I'm gonna write down injector one through six and we're gonna mark down its values and we're gonna compare them to the values that we get from cylinder number three. Now, however, if you have a problematic injector that's not doing it all of the time, this test could very well happen that you could test that injector and it could turn out to be good, but then as soon as you start having the misfire code, would be a good time to test it then to see what the resistance is because sometimes that coil can be good, but perhaps once it gets too warm, the coil could start to fail. Anyways, let's get started. Got my multimeter here. Zero it out. Perfect. Checking our readings. It's kind of all over the place here. 13 ohms. Does injector number two tell us? Thirteen ohms as well. I'm just trying to get it to stabilize. There we go. Thirteen. The injector that gave us the issue comes up thirteen as well. We're still going to check the other three. Injector number four. Oops. Come on. About 13.1. That's the only one that has a variation. But it's not even that much of a variation 13.1 two more to go that one reads 12.8 for resistance we got the last one just fish myself into here Twelve point nine. Well, there you have it. Our injector readings are pretty consistent all the way through. Not much variance at all. Now, however, now let's say, since injector number three was the one that was giving us issues, if I had a value like, let's say, like five, you know, something like that would be a dead giveaway that we got an issue there. Or even if it had like a resistance of like 50, some would tell me for sure then that something is bad. However, that does not mean, this test, like I said before, does not mean that that injector is bad. It just means at the present time when I tested the coil, it seemed to work. Now, if the issue happened when it was hot, that would be a good time to check the resistance. Because if you check the resistance when it's hot versus cold, that could be when the coil's failing and could give you a different value. So that being said, I want to thank you guys for following me along in this video series. The next video series, we're going to be actually testing the injectors. I got a tool, we're going to apply the fuel pressure. Um, I already did a video on the fuel leak down test, but that'll be part of this next video. And we test the injectors and then physically actually pump fuel through them. Anyways, I'm going to get going. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. And I want to thank you guys for watching this video series on troubleshooting a misfire code.